By default, especially when the phone number is a bit too long, the Apple Watch will only display a small part of the phone number. The time in the corner stands in the way, and this prevents it from displaying it. The Apple Watch doesn't show the number entirely, and this may be frustrating, so in this video I'll show you some ways to get around it. The very first, and apparently the easiest way to view the entire phone number, is by getting to the end of the entire chat. It's a bit tricky though, because at the bottom of the conversation you only have the text field to write your reply. But scrolling a bit more reveals more information. At first, it's the default replies, those that you can use easily to just tap and send the reply. But you need to keep on scrolling even more, past all the options and buttons. Then completely at the bottom of the page, there is a more section. And part of it is the language, sending location and getting more information, or like details view. Clicking on the details reveals the entire phone number. It displays it full screen and it's easily visible. Even though the Apple Watch display is generally pretty small, you can see the entire phone number no problem. But there's also another way to do this. It may be even simpler than the previous one. Well, every conversation and every chat you have on your Apple Watch can be found as part of the list in the Messages app. So, if you recently received a text message from some phone number, instead of opening the chat or tapping the notification, you can just go to the Messages app and find it as part of the list. Now here you should be able to see the entire phone number as well. Keep in mind that when you add that specific number to your contacts list, instead of the number, you'll see the name of the person, and it's really useful, of course. So if you're getting a lot of messages from certain phone numbers, it may not be a bad idea to save it in order to prevent future confusion. So that's about it. This has been a very quick video, but there isn't much else to say here or much stuff what I could show because this is everything what Apple allows us to do. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this one and also check out this next video right here. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later.